Newark. Guys, I know I'm looking rough, but you gotta give me a break because it's currently two something in the morning and I just got to Newark for my standby. It doesn't start till four, but I got here early. I thought I'd give you a little tour. Here's the little TV room. There's chairs. There's a TV. It's much smaller than LaGuardia or JFK. Here is what we like to do to make our little beds like this. Two chairs. Let's see, we got some mailboxes over here for the people who like Newark. Here is the quiet room. Uh, inside there, basically just sleeping, no talking, no chatting, no none of that stuff. And then here's bulletins and stuff. There's computers where we sign in. We could use the printers here. There's computers in here. There's books that we can borrow or buy and read. There's a little fridge, microwave, toaster oven. So, more computers here. Stuff over there. There's another little room with computers. I wonder if you guys can see how foggy it is outside right now. Kinda, it's pretty foggy. Um, and then more computers, water machine, and then there's the bathrooms. And that's it. That's it. That's all there is. It's crazy, huh? It's very, very small compared to JFK and LaGuardia. That's all there is to it. But hanging out here, I'm going to try to get a little nap before my sign in. Um, since I'm here early, whew. New York also has bad lighting. Look at this. You know that, um, that movie Joe vs. the Volcano? Where, like, before he leaves for the volcano and he goes to his work and it's, like, terrible lighting and, like, he just feels so... Ugh, this is how New York makes me feel. Huh. Good morning. It's been a while since I've seen you. It's currently 7 in the morning. I'm at JFK and I'm on reserve this month. The last two days I've had standbys. Um, I had 4 a.m. standby in Newark. You know, you guys know that's my favorite thing in the entire world. And then yesterday I had a 7 a.m. standby at LaGuardia. And I wasn't used either day. And then yesterday when I called the tape, I got this trip. And this trip is a three day to... It's not to my favorite place in the entire world, but it is to a place that is adjacent to my favorite place in the entire world. So, I'm super excited. And I can't wait to go. As soon as I wake up a little bit. Hi guys! We are in Charlotte, North Carolina. And we are about to make our second flight of the day, which is to St. Thomas, the Virgin Islands. As you guys know, I used to live in the Virgin Islands. I lived on St. John. And St. Thomas is not my favorite of the Virgin Islands, but I will take it over nothing. So I'm excited to go. Um, Normally, I do not like Caribbean trips, and I'll tell you why. Because it's super depressing to have to fly people to Caribbean destinations who are in party mode, who love to drink like fish, and are very, very excited. And then if we have to turn around and come back, like that Aruba turn that I did, saddest day ever. But since it is to the Virgin Islands, one of my favorite places, and since I do get a layover there, I'm really excited. Get some beach, get some sun.
I will say this. This is the first hotel I've stayed at on a layover that has robes. So I am digging that. Let's see. Nice big comfy bed. Uh, seriously? I'm not answering the phone right now. And TV. I wonder if someone's calling me. In a little sitting area, and I did not get a nice view. I got a view of the parking lot. Whoop! Getting attacked by the blinds there. There is the ocean over there, but you can barely see it. But. I don't know. I'm just having very mixed feelings. Um, very complicated feelings because. Um. I don't know. It's very hard to express, but part of me feels like I'm seeing like an ex-lover when I see the Virgin Islands because I truly, truly fell in love with this place. And then me and the island had a bad breakup. <laughs> and I left and I have not been back since. And now I'm back and it's like walking through the mall or something and running into one of your exes. It's like jarring and it's like, Oh, you're happy to see them, but you're kind of not happy to see them and because you moved on with your life and you're different and they're different and I'm thinking too much into this guys. I should just go to the beach. I should just go to the beach. You see the iguanas? So there's one there. It's actually two right there. There's one there. There's one there. There's one there. And I actually just saw a rat too. So one, two, three, four, five, six iguanas. Just chilling. You can actually smell them. Okay, funny story. When I used to live here, those little lizards, they are um, attracted to light. So I used to play solitaire to fall asleep. So I would keep my phone and I would play solitaire and there was a lizard who was trying to, who lived in my, my, my house, my tent, I lived in a tent, and he would come and rest on my thumb as I was playing the game and eat the bugs that were attracted to my light. And he's the sweetest little thing and I named him and I forget his name, but when you live here for a while, those are the kinds of things that just happen. I get very, very fond of all the little critters.
Thank you.